welcome back guys in the previous lecture we have designed the admin panel and we have uh, already written the api code or api endpoint for the get all bookings so now in this lecture we are going to complete the design of the all bookings so it's very simple you just need to design one table in the table you have to give some properties so in my deployed version i have given six properties so you can give your favorite properties which you want to see in your admin panel so it's very simple guys so open admin screen already we have the call md 10 right so here i am going to write table table in the table first t head in this t head i am going to write tr so in the tr again th table all headers so the first one is so let me create let me see booking id user id room booking id and the second one is user id and the next one is th uh, room then the next one is uh, from to status from and uh, th to uh, th status control s and for this table i'm going to apply the class name as bootstrap tables so just write table table uh, table border table border and table dark yeah let's see so here you can see i got everything booking id user id room from to status so as like in our uh, deployed version and for this table also i am going to apply the and not for the table for the table header i am going to apply the uh, box shadow behests yeah and i am going to apply the t head dark I don't know why it is not applying so so you can add the black color background for the t head directly so using styling uh, later we can add that so first let's complete the logic so after t head we are going to add the t body t body and in this t body i am going to write this condition so if bookings dot length is true or if bookings dot uh, bookings is true so instead of h1 you have to map through the bookings array so you have to map through the bookings array dot map and for every iteration i am going to take one booking object and for every iteration return one tr because in the body you have to return tr only tr so copy these properties sorry here you have to use td not th so the first one is td booking dot underscore id and the second td is same uh, booking dot uh, user id and td and next is booking dot room booking dot room and the next one is booking dot from date td yeah booking dot from date because in the database we have the format like date from date and to date and the next one is booking dot to date booking dot to date and the last one is same td uh, booking dot status that's it let's see so here you can see i got all the bookings so the first one is uh, uh, capital o from 18th to 19th and second one is oyo 24 to 30 so these two are the cancelled and all are belongs to the same user okay here you can see the username is satya and if you want to display the username also you can do it so it's very simple you need to get the username from the backend directly 
so now let's go to the room so the bookings part is completed we are displaying all the bookings so rooms logic is also simple just copy the same thing here export default bookings copy it and format the document and at the bottom just replace it and here instead of bookings just write rooms here also instead of bookings just write rooms here also rooms see same here loading uh, error all those things so here slash api slash rooms slash get all rooms get all rooms so already we have defined these get all rooms because in the uh, home screen we are going to get all the rooms so already we have this api so we need not to go to the back end let's go and check if it is there or not uh, rooms rooms root so here you can see already we have everything get all rooms so we need not to do anything in the back end so set bookings so instead of set bookings just keep it set rooms set rooms data so here everything is perfect in the h1 text change it to rooms uh, if it is loading loader and uh, let's see the uh, properties of the rooms in the deployed version room id name type so the first one is room id room id second one is name name and the third one is uh let's see type rent per day type rent per day and what are the remaining max count phone number max count phone number that's it so here instead of bookings you need to keep rooms and here also the first one is room dot underscore id and the second one is room dot name and the third one is uh, room dot type room dot type and the fourth one is uh, room dot rent per day room dot uh, everything is small only and the last uh, fifth one is room dot max count room dot max count and the last one is room dot phone number phone number control s rooms set room so here it is uh, rooms set rooms again we have we got an error admin screen bookings is not defined uh, 128 where is line number 128 yeah so here also rooms dot length and bookings is not defined here also room yeah now it should work yeah now there is no error any error so in uh, there is no condition or uh, there is no rule that you have to use the components in the same admin screen only you can define the components in separate components folder and you can import it at the top and you can use it in the tabs so here the admin panel is very small that's the reason i am not using separate components folder so that's the reason here only i am going to write the components so that's up to you there is no rule such that you have to write all the components in the admin screen only so you can make separate components folder format control s let's see so already bookings now let's see rooms so i think we have not used the rooms at the top so instead of h1 text just write rooms control s now let's see refresh bookings here you can see now i got all the rooms so room id and we have total four rooms type rent per day max count phone number so i think call uh, md10 is not uh, fitting here so let's give the full width full width call md12 so here also call md12 
and here also call md 2l so i think it is better yeah now it's looking good bookings rooms so bookings is completed rooms is completed and now let's uh, implement the users so at the last we are going to implement the add rooms so first i am going to give the users in the same component only for the add room we are going to create the separate component because already in the admin screen we have written 141 lines of code so these three are uh, should be in the admin screen and for the add room we are going to write more code that's the reason i will make separate component so export function users so here also same thing just copy these things and paste it here so instead of rooms you have to write users here also set users loading and error is same now let's copy the use effect hook and paste it here so here uh, you have to change it to users api slash user slash get all users and here also instead of rooms set users that's it so now i am going to write the return statement return in this return first return one div class name is equal to row and now i am going to apply dot call md12 and here first i am going to write one h1 text <coughs> h1 and uh, users and now i am going to write the table table so in this table just write class name is equal to table table dark and a table bordered border i uh, yeah so now i am going to write the headings t head t head tr so in this uh, we have to write the first one is user id user id and the second one is th user name third one is th user email or you can direct you need not to write a user every time so name email these are enough so is admin i'm going to write that also is admin yeah so in the next lecture we are going to create the backend for this thank you